Haiti, officially the Republic of Haiti, is a Caribbean country. It occupies the western, smaller portion of the island of Hispaniola, in the Greater Antillean Archipelago, which it shares with the Dominican Republic. Haiti was the indigenous Torno name for the island. In French, the country is called La Palle des Antilles, because of its natural beauty. The country's highest point is Pic La Salle, at 2,680 meters. Both by area and population, Haiti is the third largest Caribbean nation, with 27,750 square kilometers and an estimated 10.4 million people, just under a million of whom live in the capital city, Port au Prince. French and Haitian Creole are the official languages. Haiti's regional, historical, and ethno-linguistic position is unique for several reasons. When it gained independence in 1804, it was the first independent nation of Latin America and the Caribbean, the only nation in the world established as a result of a successful slave revolt, and the Second Republic in the Americas. Its successful revolution by slaves and free people of color lasted nearly a decade. All the first leaders of government were former slaves. Haiti is one of two independent nations in the Americas to designate French as an official language. The other French-speaking areas are all overseas da copyright partments, or collectivité copyright s, of France. With 10.4 million people, Haiti is the most populous full member state of the Caribbean community. The country is also a member of the Latin Union. In 2012, Haiti announced its intention to seek associate membership status in the African Union. It is the poorest country in the Americas as measured by the Human Development Index. Political violence has occurred regularly throughout its history, leading to government instability. Most recently, in February 2004, a coup d'état copyright tat originating in the north of the country forced the resignation and exile of President Jean Bertrand Aristide. A provisional government took control with security provided by the United Nations Stabilization Mission in Haiti. Michel Martelly, the current president, was elected in the 2011 general election. Etymology, for most of its history, the country was known as Saint-Domingue, the French equivalent of Santo Domingo, the Spanish colony of Hispaniola and the name of its present capital and patron saint, Saint Dominic. History Pre-European history At the time of European encounter, the island of Hispaniola, of which Haiti occupies the western three-eighths, was one of many Caribbean islands inhabited by the Torno Indians, speakers of an Arawakan language called Taino, which has been preserved in the Haitian Creole language. The Torno name for the entire island was either Ayati or Quisquir or Kiskia. The people had migrated over centuries into the Caribbean islands from South America. Genetic studies show they were related to the Yanomamo of the Amazon basin. After migrating to Caribbean islands, in the 15th century, the Torno were pushed into the northeast Caribbean islands by the Caribs. They also originated in Central and South America. In the Torno societies of the Caribbean islands, the largest unit of political organization was led by a cacique, or chief, as the Europeans understood them. The island of Aiti was divided among five Kasaiquots, the Magua in the northeast, the Marian in the northwest, the Xaragua in the southwest the Maguana in the center region of Saibao and the Higi in the southeast or six long-established Kashikadams. The Kashikadams were tributary kingdoms, with payment consisting of harvests. Torno cultural artifacts include cave paintings in several locations in the country. These have become national symbols of Haiti and tourist attractions. Modern-day La Copyright Ogain, started as a French colonial town in the southwest is located at the site of the former capital of the Kashikadam of Xaragua. Colonial Era Navigator Christopher Columbus landed at Marla St. Nicholas on December 5, 1492, and claimed the island for Spain. Nineteen days later, his ship the Santa Mara ran aground near the present site of Cap Horten. Columbus left 39 men on the island, who founded the settlement of La Navidad. The sailors carried endemic Eurasian infectious diseases. The natives lacked immunity to these new diseases, and died in great numbers in epidemics. 
The first recorded smallpox outbreak in the Americas occurred on Hispaniola in 1507. The encomienda system forced natives to work in gold mines and plantations. The Spanish passed the laws of Burgos, 1512 a Euro 1513, which forbade the maltreatment of natives, endorsed their conversion to Catholicism, and gave legal framework to encomendas. The natives were brought to these sites to work in specific plantations or industries. As a gateway to the Caribbean, Hispaniola became a haven for pirates during the early colonial period. The western part of the island was settled by French buccaneers. Among them was Bertrand d'Ogeron, who succeeded in growing tobacco. He attracted many French colonial families from Martinique and Guadeloupe. European nations were competing for control in the New World, in the Caribbean as well as in North America. France and Spain settled their hostilities on the island by the Treaty of Risic of 1697, and divided Hispaniola between them. France received the western third and subsequently named it Saint-Domingue. To develop it into sugarcane plantations, they imported thousands of slaves from Africa. Sugar was a lucrative commodity crop throughout the 18th century. By 1789, approximately 40,000 French colonists lived in Saint-Domingue. In contrast, by 1763 the French population of Canada, a much larger territory, had numbered 65,000. The French were vastly outnumbered by the tens of thousands of African slaves they had imported for decades to work on their plantations, which were primarily devoted to the production of sugar cane. Particularly in the north, slaves retained many ties to African cultures, religion and language, as they were continually renewed by new imports. They outnumbered whites by about ten to one. The French enacted Code Noir, prepared by Jean-Baptiste Colbert and ratified by Louis XIV, had established rules on slave treatment and permissible freedoms. Saint-Domingue has been described as one of the most brutally efficient slave colonies. One third of newly imported Africans died within a few years. Many slaves died quickly from tropical diseases, smallpox, and typhoid fever. They had low birth rates, and there is evidence that some women aborted fetuses rather than give birth to them in slavery. As in its Louisiana colony, French colonists provided some rights to free people of color, the mixed-race descendants of female slaves and white colonists. Over time, many were given freedom. They established a separate class. White French Creole fathers frequently sent their mixed-race sons to France for education. Some were admitted to the military. More of the free people of color lived in the south of the island, near Port-au-Prince, and many intermarried within their community. They frequently worked as artisans and tradesmen, and began to own some property. Some became slaveholders. They petitioned the colonial government to expand their rights. Revolution Inspired by the French Revolution of 1789 and principles of the rights of men, Free people of color and slaves in St. Domingue and the French and West Indies pressed for freedom and more civil rights. Most important was the revolution of the slaves in St. Domingue, starting in the Northern Plains in 1791, where Africans greatly outnumbered the whites. In 1792, the French government sent three commissioners with troops to re establish control. To build an alliance with the gens de couleur and slaves, the French commissioners Santhanax and Polverin abolished slavery in the colony. Six months later, the National Convention, led by Robespierre and the Jacobins, endorsed abolition and extended it to all the French colonies. United States political leaders reacted with ambivalence, at times providing aid to enable planters to put down the revolt. Later in the Revolution, the U.S. provided support to black Haitian forces, with the goal of reducing French influence in North America and the Caribbean. Toussaint Louverture, a former slave and leader in the slave revolt, drive out the Spanish and the British invaders who threatened the colony. In the uncertain years of revolution, the United States played both sides off against each other, with its traders supplying both the French and the rebels. The struggle within Haiti between the free people of color led by Andrew Copyright Rigord and the black Haitians led by La Virtue devolved into the War of the Knives in 1799 and 1800. Many surviving free people of color left the island as refugees. 
after La Vecchia created a separatist constitution, Napoli copyright on Bonaparte in 1802 sent an expedition of more than 20,000 men under the command of his brother-in-law, General Charles Leclerc to retake the island. The French achieved some victories, but within a few months, yellow fever killed most of the French soldiers. More than 50,000 French troops died in an attempt to retake the colony, including 18 generals. The French captured La Vercha, transporting him to France for trial. He was imprisoned at Fort de Joux, where he died in 1803 of exposure and tuberculosis. The slaves, along with free gens de Coulin and allies, continued their fight for independence. Jean-Jacques de Salines defeated French troops at the Battle of Verchères on November 18, 1803, leading the first ever successful slave army revolution. In late 1803, France withdrew its remaining 7,000 troops from the island and Napoleon gave up his idea of re-establishing a North American empire. With the war going badly, he sold Louisiana to the United States. Early post-independence the independence of St. Domingue was proclaimed by de Salines on January 1, 1804. Historians have estimated the slave rebellion resulted in the deaths of 100,000 slaves and 24,000 of the 40,000 colonists. Fearful of the influence of the slaves' revolution, President Thomas Jefferson refused to recognize the new republic, as did most European nations. The U.S. did not officially recognize Haiti for decades until after the American Civil War. Its new government was not supported by other republics. The revolution in Saint Domingue had resulted in waves of a massive multiracial exodus. French Creole colonists fled with those slaves they still held, as did numerous free people of color, some of whom were also slaveholders and transported slaves with them. In 1809, nearly 10,000 refugees from Saint Domingue settled en masse in New Orleans. They doubled that city's population and helped preserve its French language and culture for several generations. In addition, the newly arrived slaves added to the city's African population. De Salines was proclaimed emperor for life by his troops. De Salines at first offered protection to the white planters and others. But once in power, he ordered the massacre of most whites, without regard to age or gender. In the continuing competition for power, he was assassinated by rivals on October 17, 1806. The country was divided between the Kingdom of Haiti in the north, directed by Henri I, and a republic in the south directed by Alexander Par copyright Tion, and whom de couleur. Henri Christophe established a semi-feudal corva copyright E system, with a rigid education and economic code. President Par copyright Tion gave military and financial assistance to the revolutionary Sima Cube den Bolivar, which were critical in enabling him to liberate the vice royalty of New Granada. He was instrumental in aiding nations in South America achieve independence from Spain. Beginning in 1821, President Jean Pierre Boyer, also an Hume de Coula and successor to Par copyright Tion, reunified the two parts of St. Domingue and extended control over all of the western part of the island. In addition, after Santo Domingo declared its independence from Spain, Boyer sent forces in to take control. Boyer ruled the entire island, ending slavery in Santo Domingo. After Santo Domingo achieved independence from Haiti, it established a separate national identity that united the racially diverse people in this part of the island. Struggling to revive the agricultural economy to produce commodity crops, Boyer passed the Code Rural, which denied peasant laborers the right to leave the land, enter the towns, or start farms or shops of their own. Following the revolution, many peasants wanted to have their own farms rather than work on plantations. The American Colonization Society encouraged free blacks from the United States to emigrate to Haiti. Starting in September 1824, more than 6,000 American free blacks migrated to Haiti, with transportation paid by the ACS. Many found the conditions too harsh and returned to the United States. In July 1825, King Charles X of France sent a fleet to reconquer the island. Under pressure, President Boyer agreed to a treaty by which France formally recognized the independence of the nation in exchange for a payment of 150 million francs. 
After losing the support of Haiti's elite, Boyer was ousted in 1843. A long succession of coups followed his departure to exile. The enforced payment to France reduced Haiti economy for years. Western nations did not recognize it. Both kept its economy and society isolated. Expatriates bankrolled and armed opposing groups. In 1892, the German government supported suppression of the reform movement of anti-copyright Nor Fermin. 20th century. In January 1914, British, German and U.S. forces entered Haiti, ostensibly to protect their citizens from civil unrest at the time. In an expression of the Theodore Roosevelt corollary to the Monroe Doctrine, the United States occupied the island in 1915. U.S. Marines were stationed in the country until 1934. Sisal was introduced to Haiti, and sugar and cotton became significant exports. Haitian traditionalists, based in rural areas, were highly resistant to American back changes, while the urban elites wanted more control. Together they helped secure an end to the occupation in 1934. The debts were still outstanding and the American financial advisor General Receiver handled the budget until 1941. Recognition of the distinctive traditionalism of the Haitian people had an influence on United States writers, including Eugene O'Neill. James Weldon Johnson, Langston Hughes, Zora Neale Hurston and Orson Welles. After the U.S. left in 1934, Dominican dictator Rafael Trujillo used anti-Haitian sentiment as a nationalist tool. In an event that became known as the Parsley Massacre, he ordered his army to kill Haitians living on the Dominican side of the border. Between 10,000 and 20,000 Haitians were killed. One quarter Haitian, Trujillo continued policies against the neighboring population for some time. Tourists started to come from the United States and Europe in the 1950s. After a period of disorder, in September 1957 Dr. Frenna Section Duvalier was elected president of Haiti. Known as Papa Doc, and initially popular, Duvalier was president until his death in 1971. He advanced black interests in the public sector, where over time people of color had predominated as the educated urban elite. He stayed in power by enlisting an organization known as Tontons Makuts, which maintained order by terrorizing the populace and political opponents. He was succeeded by his son Jean-Claude Duvalier a Euro known also as Bar Copyright Bar Copyright Doc a Euro, who led the country from 1971 until his ouster in 1986. In 1986, protests against Baby Doc led him to seek exile in France. Army leader General Henri Namfi headed a new national governing council. General elections in November were aborted after dozens of inhabitants were shot in the capital by soldiers and Tontons Makuts. Fraudulent elections followed. The elected president, Leslie Manigat, was overthrown some months later in the June 1988 Haitian coup copyright tat. The September 1988 Haitian coup d'état copyright tat, which followed the Saint Jean Bosco massacre, revealed the increasing prominence of former Tontons Makuts. General Prosper Avril led a military regime until March 1990. In December 1990, a former Catholic priest, Jean Bertrand Aristide, was elected president in the Haitian general election. In September of the following year, Aristide was overthrown by the military in the 1991 Haitian coup d'état copyright tat. In 1994, an American team negotiated the departure of Haiti's military leaders and the peaceful entry of U.S. forces under Operation Uphold Democracy. This enabled the restoration of the democratically elected Jean Bertrand Aristide as president. In October 1994, Aristide returned to Haiti to complete his term in office. Aristide vacated the presidency in February 1996. In the 1995 election, Rina Copyright Pra Copyright Val was elected as president for a five-year term, winning 88% of the popular vote. 21st century. The November 2000 election gave the presidency back to Aristide with an overwhelming 92% of the vote. The election had been boycotted by the opposition, now organized into the Convergent Star Copyright Mocritique, over a dispute in the May legislative elections. In subsequent years, there was increasing violence and human rights abuses. 
Aristide supporters attacked the opposition. Aristide spent years negotiating with the Convergent Star copyright mock critique on new elections, but the Convergence's inability to develop a sufficient electoral base made elections unattractive. In 2004, a revolt began in northern Haiti. The rebellion eventually reached a capital. And Aristide was forced into exile, whereupon the United Nations stationed peacekeepers in Haiti. Some including Aristide and his bodyguard, Franz Gabriel, stated that he was the victim of a new coup d'état copyright tat or modern kidnapping by U.S. forces. Mrs. Aristide stated that the kidnappers wore U.S. Special Forces uniforms, but changed into civilian clothes upon boarding the aircraft that was used to remove Aristide from Haiti. Boniface Alexander assumed interim authority. Rena Copyright Pra Copyright Vial was elected president in February 2006, following elections marked by uncertainties and popular demonstrations. The United Nations Stabilization Mission in Haiti remains in the country, having been there since the 2004 coup d'état. The United States led a vast international campaign to prevent Aristide from returning to his country while he was exiled in South Africa. Released WikiLeaks cables show that high-level U.S. and U.N. officials coordinated a politically motivated prosecution of Aristide to prevent him from gaining more traction with the Haitian population and returning to Haiti. The United States and its allies allegedly poured tens of millions of dollars into unsuccessful efforts to slander Aristide as a drug trafficker, human rights violator, and heretical practitioner of Vodou. In 2004, Tropical Storm Jan skimmed the north coast of Haiti, leaving 3,006 people dead in flooding and mudslides, mostly in the city of Gonavez. Haiti was again pummeled by tropical storms in late August and early September 2008. The storms are Euro Tropical Storm Fay, Hurricane Gustav, Hurricane Hannah, and Hurricane Ica Euro all produced heavy winds and rain in Haiti. Newspapers listed 331 dead and 800,000 in need of humanitarian aid. The grim state of affairs produced by these storms was all the more life-threatening due to already high food and fuel prices that had caused a food crisis and political unrest in April 2008. On January 12, 2010, at 4.53 p.m. local time, Haiti was struck by a magnitude 7.0 earthquake. This was the country's most severe earthquake in over 200 years. The 2010 Haiti earthquake was reported to have left up to 316,000 people dead and 1.6 million homeless, though later reports found these numbers to have been grossly inflated, and put the death toll between 46,000 and 85,000. The country has yet to recover from the 2010 earthquake due to both the severity of the damage Haiti endured in 2010, as well as a government that was ineffective well before the earthquake. General elections had been planned for January 2010, but were postponed due to the earthquake. The elections were held on November 28, 2010 for Senate, Parliament and the first round of the presidential elections. The runoff between Michel Martelly and Mland Manigat took place on March 20, 2011, and preliminary results, released on April 4, named Michel Martelly the winner. In 2013, Haiti called for European nations to pay reparations for slavery and established an official reparations commission. Geography Haiti is on the western part of Hispaniola, the second largest island in the Greater Antilles. Haiti is the third largest country in the Caribbean behind Cuba and the Dominican Republic border with Haiti. Haiti at its closest point is about 45 nautical miles away from Cuba and has the second longest coastline in the Greater Antilles, Cuba having the longest. The country lies mostly between latitudes 18 a degree and 20 a degree n, and longitudes 71 a degree and 75 a degree w. Haiti's terrain consists mainly of rugged mountains interspersed with small coastal plains and river valleys. The northern region consists of the Massif du Nord and the Plain du Nord. The Massif du Nord is an extension of the Cordillera Central in the Dominican Republic. It begins at Haiti's eastern border, north of the Guemac River, and extends to the northwest through the northern peninsula. The lowlands of the Plain du Nord lie along the northern border with the Dominican Republic, between the Massif du Nord and the North Atlantic Ocean. The central region consists of two plains and two sets of mountain ranges. 
the plateau central extends along both sides of the Guaymac River, south of the Massif du Nord. It runs from the southeast to the northwest. To the southwest of the plateau central are the Montagnes Noires, whose most northwestern part merges with the Massif du Nord. Its westernmost point is known as Cap Carcass. The southern region consists of the Plain du Cul de Sac and the mountainous southern peninsula. The Plain du Cul de Sac is a natural depression that harbors the country's saline lakes, such as Troncourt Man and Haiti's largest lake, Lac Azwa Copyright I. The Corps registered trademark Ni de la Salle Mountain Range a Euro An extension of the southern mountain chain of the Dominican Republic a Euro extends from the Massif de la Salle in the east to the Massif de la Hot in the west. This mountain range harbors Pic la Salle, the highest point in Haiti at 2,680 meters. The country's most important valley in terms of crops is the Plain de la Tibonite, which is oriented south of the Montagnes Noires. This region supports the country's longest river, the Riviere Latibonite, which begins in the western region of the Dominican Republic and continues most of its length through central Haiti and onward where it empties into the Gulf de Laguna Saint Bay. The eastern and central region of the island is a large elevated plateau. Haiti also includes various offshore islands. The historically famous island of Tortuga is located off the coast of northern Haiti. The arrondissement of Laguna Saint Bay is located on the island of the same name, in the Gulf de Laguna Saint Bay. Guna Saint Bay Island is moderately populated by rural villages. A La Vache, a lush island with many beautiful sites, is located off the tip of southwestern Haiti. Also part of Haiti are the Caermites and La Dianicana. La Nave is located 40 nautical miles west of Jar Copyright Ra Copyright Mai on the southwest peninsula of Haiti, is subject to an ongoing territorial dispute with the United States. Geology There are blind thrust faults associated with the Enriquillo Plantain Garden Fault System over which Haiti lies. After the earthquake of 2010, there was no evidence of surface rupture and based on seismological, geological, and ground deformation data. The northern boundary of the fault is where the Caribbean tectonic plate shifts eastwards by about 20 m per year in relation to the North American plate. The strike-slip fault system in the region has two branches in Haiti, the Septentrional Orient Fault in the north and the Enriquillo Plantain Garden Fault in the south. A 2007 earthquake hazard study by C. de Metz and M. Wiggins Grandison noted that the Enriquillo Plantain Garden Fault Zone could be at the end of its seismic cycle and concluded that a worst case forecast would involve a 7.2 MW earthquake, similar in size to the 1692 Jamaica earthquake. Paul Mann and a group including the 2006 study team presented a hazard assessment of the Enriquillo Plantain Garden Fault System to the 18th Caribbean Geologic Conference in March 2008, noting the large strain. The team recommended high-priority historical geologic rupture studies, as the fault was fully locked and had recorded few earthquakes in the preceding 40 years. An article published in Haiti's Le Matin newspaper in September 2008 cited comments by geologist Patrick Charles to the effect that there was a high risk of major seismic activity in Port-au-Prince. Environment In addition to soil erosion, deforestation has caused periodic and severe flooding in Haiti, as experienced, for example, on September 17, 2004. Earlier that year, in May, Floods had killed over 3,000 people on Haiti's southern border with the Dominican Republic. There has been little marine, coastal, and river basin management. Forest cover and the steep hills surrounding Haiti's river basin retains soil, which in turn retains water from rainfall, reducing river flood peaks and conserving flows in the dry season. But deforestation has resulted in much of the soil being released from the upper catchments. Many of Haiti's rivers are now highly unstable, changing rapidly from destructive flooding to inadequate flows. Scientists at the Columbia University's Center for International Earth Science Information Network and the United Nations Environment Program are working on the Haiti Regenerative Initiative, an initiative aiming to reduce poverty and natural disaster vulnerability in Haiti through ecosystem restoration and sustainable resource management. Flora, in 1925, Haiti was lush, 
with 60% of its original forest covering the lands and mountainous regions. Since then, Haiti's residents have cut down an estimated 98% of its original forest cover for use as fuel for cookstoves, destroying fertile farmland soils and contributing to desertification. Demographics Although Haiti averages approximately 350 people per square kilometer, its population is concentrated most heavily in urban areas, coastal plains, and valleys. Haiti's population was about 9.8 million according to UN 2008 estimates, with half of the population being under 20 years. The first formal census, taken in 1950, showed that the population was 3.1 million. Modern Haitians today are people who are descendants of former African slaves, mulatto free people of color, and the remaining white populations who survived the revolt. The percentage of mulattoes for decades is given as a fixed 5%, but is estimated to be as high as 15%. Haitian constitution specifies all citizens must be known as a Euro OE black or Euro regardless of skin color, therefore, it is kept as low as possible. Also poor mulattoes are regarded as being black. Smaller minority groups include people of Western European, Arab, Armenian, or Jewish origin. Haitians of East Asian descent or East Indian origin number approximately 400 plus. Millions of Haitians live abroad in the United States, Dominican Republic, Cuba, Canada, Bahamas, France, French Antilles, the Turks and Caicos, Jamaica, Puerto Rico. Venezuela, Brazil and French Guiana. There are an estimated 881,500 in the United States, 800,000 in the Dominican Republic, 300,000 in Cuba, 100,000 in Canada, 80,000 in France, and up to 80,000 in the Bahamas. But there are also smaller Haitian communities in many other countries, including Chile, Switzerland, Japan and Australia. Caste discrimination Due to the racial caste system instituted in colonial Haiti, Haitian mulattoes became the nation's social elite and racially privileged. Numerous leaders throughout Haiti's history have been mulattoes. Comprising 5% of the nation's population, mulattoes have retained their preeminence, evident in the political, economic, social and cultural hierarchy in Haiti. Alexander Park copyright TION born to a Haitian mother and a wealthy French father, was the first president of the Republic of Haiti. Religion Around 80% of Haitians profess to be Catholics. Protestants make up about 16% of the population, and others make up 3% consisting of Islam, Bahá'í Faith, Judaism, and Buddhism. Some Haitians combine their Catholicism with elements of Vodou. Languages one of Haiti's two official languages is French, which is the principal written and administratively authorized language. It is spoken by all educated Haitians, is the medium of instruction in most schools, and is used in the business sector. It is also used in ceremonial events such as weddings, graduations and church masses. The second is the recently standardized Haitian Creole, which is spoken by virtually the entire population of Haiti. Haitian Creole is one of the French-based Creole languages. Its vocabulary is primarily derived from French, but its grammar and pronunciation display influences from some West African, Taino, Spanish, and Portuguese languages. Haitian Creole is related to the other French Creoles, but most closely to Louisiana Creole, Mauritian Creole. Emigration Haitian immigrants have constituted a very visible segment of American and Canadian society, dating back to before the independence of Haiti from France in 1804. Haiti's proximity to the United States, and its status as a free black republic in the years before the American Civil War, have contributed to this relationship. Many influential early American settlers and black freemen, including Jean Baptiste Point du Sable and W. E. B. Du Bois, were of Haitian origin. Jean Baptiste Point du Sable, an immigrant from Saint Domingue, founded the first non indigenous settlement in what is now Chicago, Illinois, the third largest city in the United States. The state of Illinois and city of Chicago declared du Sable the founder of Chicago on October 26, 1968. Largest cities 
Government and Politics The government of Haiti is a semi-presidential republic, a multi-party system wherein the president of Haiti is head of state elected directly by popular elections. The prime minister acts as head of government and is appointed by the president, chosen from the majority party in the National Assembly. Executive power is exercised by the president and prime minister who together constitute the government. In 2013, the annual budget was US$1 billion. Legislative power is vested in both the government and the two chambers of the National Assembly of Haiti. The government is organized unitarily, thus the central government delegates powers to the departments without a constitutional need for consent. The current structure of Haiti's political system was set forth in the Constitution of Haiti on March 29, 1987. The current president is Michel Martelly. Haitian politics have been contentious. In its 200-year history, Haiti has suffered 32 coups. Haiti is the only country in the Western Hemisphere to undergo a successful slave revolution, but a long history of oppression by dictator Sa Euro including from a section Wa Duvalier and his son Jean-Claude Duvalier a Euro has markedly affected the nation. France, the United States and other Western countries have repeatedly intervened in Haitian politics since the country's founding, sometimes at the request of one party or another. Along with international financial institutions, they have imposed large quantities of debt a euro so much that foreign debt payments have rivaled the available government budget for social sector spending. They also enforced trade policies that have broken down the Haitian government a euro unregistered trademark s ability to protect the local economy, forcing greater dependence on imports and eroding economic self-sufficiency. According to a Corruption Perceptions Index report in 2006, there is a strong correlation between corruption and poverty and Haiti ranked first of all countries surveyed for of levels of perceived domestic corruption. The International Red Cross reports that 7 out of 10 Haitians live on less than 2 US dollars a day. Cita Copyright Salil, Haiti's largest slum in the capital of Port-au-Prince, has been called the most dangerous place on earth by the United Nations. The slum is a stronghold of supporters of former Haitian President Jean Bertrand Aristide, who, according to the BBC, accused the U.S. of forcing him out a euro an accusation the U.S. rejected as absurd. Jean Bertrand Aristide was initially denied access to Haiti by Haitian immigration authorities, despite issuing appeals for entrance to his supporters and international observers. The world's most prominent governments did not overtly oppose such appeals, nor did they support them. An unnamed analyst close to the Haitian government quoted in several media sources a euro including the New York Times a euro is reported to have said, Aristide could have 15 passports and he's still not going to come back to Haitia. France and the United States are standing in the way. However, Aristide finally returned to Haiti on March 18, 2011, days before the 2011 presidential election. The first round of the 2010 general election was held in December. Mlan Manigat and Jude Celestin qualified for the second round of the presidential election, but its results were contested. Some people said that the first round was a fraud and that Michel Martelly should replace Jude Celestin, Rena Copyright Pra Copyright Val's chosen successor. There was some violence between the contending parties. On April 4, 2011, the Provisional Electoral Council announced preliminary results indicating that Martelli had won the presidential election. In February 2012, Haiti signaled it would seek to upgrade its observer status to full associate member status of the African Union. At its next summit in June 2013, the AU plans to upgrade Haiti's status from observer to associate. In 2010, the Haitian National Police numbered 7,000. The legal system for torts is based on a version of the Napoleonic Code. The Institute for the Protection of National Heritage has preserved 33 historical monuments and the historic center of Cap Horten. Military Haiti currently has no regular military. The former Haitian armed forces were demobilized. Law enforcement and crime Haiti has consistently ranked among the most corrupt countries in the world on the Corruption Perceptions Index. It is estimated that President Baby Doc Duvalier, 
his wife Michelle and three other people took $504 million from the Haitian public treasury between 1971 and 1986. Similarly, some media outlets alleged that millions were stolen by former President Jean Bertrand Aristide. In March 2004, at the time of Aristide's being kidnapped, a BBC article wrote that the Bush administration State Department stated that Aristide had been involved in drug trafficking. The BBC also described pyramid schemes, in which Haitians lost hundreds of millions in 2002, as the only real economic initiative of the Aristide years. Departments, arrondissements, and communes. Administratively, Haiti is divided into ten departments. The departments are listed below, with the departmental capital cities in parentheses. Nord Ouest, Nord, Nordist, Artibonite Center, Ouest, Grand Anse, Nips, Sud, Sudist. The departments are further divided into 41 arrondissements and 133 communes. These service, respectively, second and third level administrative divisions. Economy Haiti's purchasing power parity GDP fell 8% in 2010 and the GDP per capita remained unchanged at 1,200. Haiti ranked 145 of 182 countries in the 2010 United Nations Human Development Index, with 57.3% of the population being deprived in at least three of the HDI's poverty measures. The World Factbook reports a shortage of skilled labor, widespread unemployment and underemployment, saying more than two-thirds of the labor force do not have formal jobs, and describes pre-earthquake Haiti as already the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere with 80% of the population living under the poverty line and 54% in abject poverty. Three-quarters of the population lives on two dollars or less per day. Reforms to improve the business environment have had little effect because of widespread corruption and the inefficient judicial framework. Though more than half of all Haitians work in the agricultural sector, the country relies on imports for half its food needs and 80% of its rice. Haiti exports crops such as mangoes, cacao, and coffee. Agricultural products comprise 6% of all exports. Haiti has a large trade deficit of $3 billion in 2011, or 41% of GDP. Foreign aid makes up approximately 30 euro 40% of the national government's budget. The largest donor is the U.S., followed by Canada and the European Union. From 1990 to 2003, Haiti received more than $4 billion in aid, including $1.5 billion from the United States. In January 2010, Following the earthquake, China promised $4.2 million and U.S. President Barack Obama pledged $1.15 billion in assistance. European Union nations promised more than 400 million euros in emergency aid and reconstruction funds. In the wake of the disputed 2000 election and accusations about President Aristide's rule, U.S. aid to the Haitian government was completely cut off between 2001 and 2004. After Aristide's departure in 2004, aid was restored and the Brazilian army led a United Nations stabilization mission in Haiti peacekeeping operation. After almost four years of recession, the economy grew by 1.5% in 2005. In September 2009, Haiti met the conditions set up by the IMF and World Bank's heavily indebted poor countries program to qualify for cancellation of its external debt. The World Bank estimates that over 80% of college graduates from Haiti were living abroad in 2004, with their remittances home representing 52.7% of Haiti's GDP. Haiti's richest 1% own nearly half the country's wealth. Haiti apparently has no hydrocarbon resources on land or in the Gulf of Gonesant Bay and is therefore heavily dependent on energy imports. CETA copyright Solial is considered one of the worst slums in the Americas. Most of its 500,000 residents live in extreme poverty. Poverty has forced at least 225,000 Haitian children to work as restaves. The United Nations considers this a modern-day form of slavery. Former U.S. President Bill Clinton recently expressed regret and apologized for the U.S.'s trade policies with Haiti. Currency the Haitian gourd is the national currency. Creole speakers will call U.S. dollars, 
dollar American or dollar US, and goods, GAUD. The vast majority of businesses and individuals in Haiti will accept US dollars, though GAUDs may be preferred in places such as outdoor markets. The Haitian dollar equals five GAUDs, and exists as a concept only. This exchange rate is fixed, with certain informal prices specified in Haitian dollars. Tourism In 2012, the country received 950,000 tourists, and the industry generated 200 million U.S. dollars in 2012. In December 2012, the U.S. State Department issued a travel warning about the country, noting that while thousands of American citizens safely visit Haiti each year, foreign tourists had been victims of violent crime, including murder and kidnapping, predominantly in the Port-au-Prince area. In 2012, several hotels were opened, including a Best Western Premier, a five-star Royal Oasis Hotel by Occidental Hotel and Resorts in Par Copyright Shineville, a four-star Mayotte Hotel in the Togo area of Port-au-Prince and other new hotel developments in Port-au-Prince, Les Cayes, Cap Horten and Jacmal. Other tourist destinations include Camp Perrin, Pigmacala. The Haitian Carnival has become one of the most popular carnivals in the Caribbean since the government decided to stage the event in a different city every year. The National Carnival which is usually held in one of the country's largest cities, follows the also very popular Jackmal Carnival which takes place a week earlier in February or March. Caracol Industrial Park In October 21, 2012, Haitian President Michel Martelly, U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Rodham Clinton, Bill Clinton, Richard Branson, Ben Stiller and Sean Penn inaugurated the 600 acres Caracol Industrial Park, the largest in the Caribbean. Costing 300 million U.S. dollars, the project, which includes a 10-megawatt power plant, a water treatment plant and worker housing, is intended to transform the northern part of the country by creating 65,000 jobs. The park is part of a master plan for Haiti's north and northeast departments, including the expansion of the Cap Haitian International Airport to accommodate large international flights, the construction of an international seaport in Fort Liberty copyright and the opening of the $50 million U.S. dollars Rui Henri Christophe campus of a new university in Limonade on January 12, 2012. South Korean clothing manufacturer CA Trading Company Limited, one of the park's main tenants, is creating 20,000 permanent jobs and building 5,000 houses in the surrounding area for its workers. Infrastructure, Transportation Haiti has two main highways that run from one end of the country to the other. The Northern Highway, Route Nationale No. 1, originates in Port-au-Prince, winding through the coastal towns of Montreuil and Gonavez, before reaching its terminus at the northern port Cap Horten. The Southern Highway Route Nationale No. 2, links Port-au-Prince with Les Cayes via La Copyright Ogre saint ni in Petit Goa saint Bay. According to the Washington Post, officials from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers said Saturday, January 23, 2010, that they assessed the damage from the 12th January quake in Port-au-Prince, Haiti, and found that many of the roads aren't any worse than they were before because they've always been in poor condition. The port at Port-au-Prince, Port International de Port-au-Prince, has more registered shipping than any of the other dozen ports in the country. The port's facilities include cranes, large berths, and warehouses, but these facilities are not in good condition. The port is underused, possibly due to the substantially high port fees. The port of St. Mark is currently the preferred port of entry for consumer goods coming into Haiti. Reasons for this may include its location away from volatile and congested Port-au-Prince, as well as its central location relative to numerous Haitian cities. During the 2010 earthquake, the Port-au-Prince port suffered widespread damage, impeding aid to the victims. The main pier caved in and fell into the water. One of the main cranes also collapsed in the water. Port access roads were severely damaged as well. To St. Louverture International Airport is located 10 kilometers north northeast of Port au Prince. It has Haiti's main jetway, and as such, handles the vast majority of the country's international flights. To travel on from the international airport at Port au Prince to other Haitian cities requires boarding a smaller plane. 
cities such as Jack Mall, Jar Copyright Ra Copyright Mai, Les Kais, Cap Horten, and Port de Paix have airports that are accessible by smaller aircraft. Companies that fly to these airports include, Carabinter, Sunrise Airways and Tortagair. In the past, Haiti used rail transport, but, today, railroads are no longer in use, due to their replacement by other forms of transportation. Bus service. Tap-tap buses are colorfully painted buses or pickup trucks that serve as share taxis in Haiti. The tap-tap name comes from sound of taps on the metal bus body signifying a passenger's request to be dropped off. These vehicles for hire are often privately owned and extensively decorated. They follow fixed routes, will not leave until filled with passengers, and riders are usually able to disembark at any point in the journey. It is a typically Haitian form of art. In August 2013, the first coach bus prototype was made in Haiti. Electricity In Haiti, 12.5% of the population have access to electricity a euro or we officially a euro, although the Ministry of Public Works estimate that the coverage could be around 25% when irregular connections are considered. In the capital, Port-au-Prince, the access rate is about 45%. Some towns in Haiti, such as the capital of the Nordis Department Fort Liberty Copyright, have an electricity distribution network but have been effectively abandoned by the national utility EDH for about a decade. Users thus have to rely entirely on small, privately owned generators to meet their electricity demand. Communications In Haiti, communications include the radio, television, fixed and mobile telephones, and the Internet. Haiti ranked last among North American countries in the World Economic Forum's Network Readiness Index a Euro an indicator for determining the development level of a county a Euro on registered trademark s information and communication technologies. Haiti ranked number 143 out of 148 overall in the 2014 NRI ranking, down from 141 in 2013. Culture Haitian culture is a mixture of primarily French, African elements, a native Torno, with influence from the colonial Spanish. The country's customs essentially are a blend of cultural beliefs that derived from the various ethnic groups that inhabited the island of Hispaniola. In nearly all aspects of modern Haitian society however, the African and European elements dominate. The music of Haiti combines a wide range of influences drawn from the many people who have settled on this Caribbean island. It reflects French, African rhythms, Spanish elements and others who have inhabited the island of Hispaniola and minor native Taino influences. Styles of music unique to the nation of Haiti include music derived from Vodo ceremonial traditions, rara parading music, tabidor troubadour ballads, mini jazz rock bands, rasan movement, hip-hop crea square the wildly popular compas, and ma copyright ring. Compas is a complex, ever-changing music that arose from African rhythms and European ballroom dancing, mixed with Haiti's bourgeois culture. It is a refined music, with Ma copyright ring as its basic rhythm. Haiti had no recorded music until 1937 when Jazz Kynad was recorded non-commercially. One of the most popular Haitian artists is Wyclef Jean. Wyclef Jean, however, left the country before his teenage years. His music is somewhat hip-hop mixed with world music. Haiti is world famous for its distinctive art, notably painting and sculpture. Brilliant colors, naive perspective and sly humor characterize Haitian art. Frequent subjects in Haitian art include big, delectable foods, lush landscapes, market activities, jungle animals, rituals, dances, and gods. Artists frequently paint in fables. People are disguised as animals and animals are transformed into people. As a result of a deep history and strong African ties, symbols take on great meaning within Haitian society. For example, a rooster often represents Aristide and the red and blue colors of the Haitian flag often represent his liveless party. Many artists cluster in schools of painting, such as the Cap Horten School, which features depictions of daily life in the city, the Jackmal School, which reflects the steep mountains and bays of that coastal town, or the Saint-Solil School, 
which is characterized by abstracted human forms and is heavily influenced by Vodo symbolism. Cuisine Haitian cuisine originates from several culinary styles from the various historical ethnic groups that populated the western portion of the island of Hispaniola. Haitian cuisine is similar to the rest of the Latin Caribbean, however it differs in several ways from its regional counterparts. While the cuisine is unpretentious and simple, the flavors are bold and spicy that demonstrate a primary influence of African culinary aesthetic, paired with a very French sophistication with notable derivatives coming from native Tourneau and Spanish techniques. Though similar to other cooking styles in the region, it carries a uniqueness native to the country and an appeal to many visitors to the island. Haitians often use peppers and other strong flavorings. Dishes tend to be seasoned liberally and consequently Haitian cuisine is often moderately spicy. In the country, however, several foreign cuisines have been introduced. These include Levantine from Arab migration to Haiti. Rice and beans in several differing ways are eaten throughout the country regardless of location, becoming a sort of national dish. They form the staple diet, which consists of a lot of starch and is high in carbohydrates. Rural areas, with better access to agricultural products, have a larger variety of choices. One such dish is maimolu, which is comparable to cornmeal that can be eaten with sauce au pois, a bean sauce made from one of many types of beans such as kidney. Pinto, chickpeas, or pigeon peas. Marimulin can be eaten with fish, or alone depending on personal preference. Some of the many plants used in Haitian dishes include tomato, oregano, cabbage, avocado, bell peppers. A popular food is bean and peas, a copyright e, flattened plant in slices fried in cooking oil. It is eaten both as a snack and as part of a meal, is often eaten with tassot or griot which are deep-fried goat and pork respectively. Traditionally, the food that Haitians eat on the Independence Day is soup juma. Sports, football is the most popular sport in Haiti with hundreds of small football clubs competing at the local level, and basketball is growing in popularity. Haitian soccer player Joe Garchchens played for the United States national team in the 1950 FIFA World Cup scoring the winning goal in the 1 Euro 0 upset of England. Notable natives and residents Alex Pasquet, a World War II fighter pilot, one of three Haitian members of the Tusk JMN. Comte de Stein in command of more than 500 volunteers from Saint-Domingue, fought alongside American colonial troops against the British in the Siege of Savannah, one of the most significant foreign contributions to the American Revolutionary War in 1779. Frank a copyright Shin, arguably Haiti's greatest author. He was a candidate for Nobel Prize for Literature in 2009. Garcel Bivet, television actress, Jean-Baptiste Point du Sable, who might have been born in St. Mark, St. Domingue in 1745, established a fur trading post at present-day Chicago, Illinois. He is considered to be one of the city's founders. Jean Lafitte a French pirate who operated around New Orleans and Galveston on the Gulf Coast of the United States, was born in Port-au-Prince around 1782. John James Audubon, the renowned ornithologist and painter, was born in 1785 in Les Cayes, Saint-Domingue. His parents returned to France, where the boy was educated. He emigrated to the United States as a young man and made a career as he painted catalogued and described the birds of North America. Jar G. N. Leth, Danish poet and acclaimed filmmaker. Michael Legeen, 27th Governor-General of Canada, was born in Port-au-Prince in 1957 and lived in Haiti until 1968. Wyclef Jean, Grammy Award-winning hip-hop recording artist. Education The educational system of Haiti is based on the French system. Higher education, under the responsibility of the Ministry of Education, is provided by universities and other public and private institutions. Haiti counts 15,200 primary schools, of which 90% are non-public and managed by communities, religious organizations or NGOs. The enrollment rate for primary school is 67%, and fewer than 30% reach sixth grade. Secondary schools enroll 20% of eligible age children. 
charity organizations, including Food for the Poor and High Asian Health Foundation, are building schools for children and providing necessary school supplies. Haiti's literacy rate is 52.9%. The January 2010 earthquake was a major setback for education reform in Haiti as it diverted limited resources to survival. Literacy levels remain near 50%. Haiti is one of the lowest ranked countries in the world, 177th out of 186, for national spending on education. Many reformers have advocated the creation of a free, public and universal education system for all primary school age students in Haiti. The Inter-American Development Bank estimates that the government will need at least $3 billion USD to create an adequately funded system. Health. Half of the children in Haiti are unvaccinated. 40% of the population has access to basic health care. Prior to the 2010 earthquake, nearly half of all Haitian deaths were attributed to HIV-AIDS, respiratory infections, meningitis and diarrheal diseases according to the World Health Organization. 90% of Haiti's children suffer from waterborne diseases and intestinal parasites. HIV infection is found in 2.2% of Haiti's adult population. The incidence of tuberculosis in Haiti is more than 10 times as high as in the rest of Latin America. Approximately 30,000 people in Haiti suffer each year from malaria. Most people living in Haiti are at high risk for major infectious diseases. Food or waterborne diseases include bacterial and protozoal diarrhea, typhoid fever and hepatitis A and E. Common vector-borne diseases are dengue fever and malaria. Water contact diseases include leptospirosis. Roughly 75% of Haitian households lack running water. Unsafe water along with inadequate housing and unsanitary living conditions, contributes to the high incidence of infectious diseases. There is a chronic shortage of healthcare personnel and hospitals lack resources, a situation that became readily apparent after the January 2010 earthquake. See also Index of Haiti-related articles, Outline of Haiti, External Debt of Haiti, Haitian Heritage Museum, List of Island Countries, Haiti at Wikipedia Books, References. Further reading, Pritchard, Hesketh. Where Black Rules White, A Journey Across and About Haiti. These are exact reproductions of a book published before 1923. Arthur, Charles. Haiti in Focus, A Guide to the People, Politics, and Culture. Interlink Publishing Group. ISBN 1-56656-359-3. Dallin, Colin. Haiti, History, and the Gods. University of California Press. ISBN 0-520-21368-8. Gerard, Philippe. Haiti, The Tumultuous History. Haddon, Robert Lee and Stephen G. Minson. 2010. The Geology of Haiti, an Annotated Bibliography of Haiti's Geology, Geography and Earth Science. U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Army Geospatial Center. July 2010. Hien, Robert Debs and Nancy Gordon Hien. Written in Blood, The Story of the Haitian People 1492 Euro 1995. University Press of America. ISBN 0. 7618-3177-0. Kobats Burnett, J. Christopher. Sleeping Rough in Port-au-Prince, An Ethnography of Street Children and Violence in Haiti. University Press of Florida. ISBN 978-0-8130-3302-0. Robinson, Randall. An Unbroken Agony, Haiti. From Revolution to the Kidnapping of a President. Basic Civitas. ISBN 0 465 07050 7. Willens, Amy. The Rainy Season, Haiti Since Duvalier. Simon and Schuster. ISBN 0 671 70628 4. External links Government, French, President of Haiti. French, Prime Minister of Haiti, French, 
Parliament of Haiti, General Information, Haiti at DMOZ, Haiti at Encyclopedia Britannica. Haiti Entry at the World Factbook, Haiti at UCB Libraries Gov Pubs. A Country Study, Haiti from the U.S. Library of Congress. Wikimedia Atlas of Haiti, Haiti Profile from the BBC News. Country Profile A New Internationalist. Website about safe and sustainable water solutions for Haiti, maps, collection of maps from the Perry Castor Plus or Minus Eda Library at the University of Texas at Austin. Map of Haiti from the United Nations. Relief Organizations, the ICRC in Haiti. Hope for Haiti, Education and Grassroots Development in Rural Haiti. Haiti Volunteer Youth Corps, Training Leaders in Trauma Relief, Community Empowerment and Sustainable Agriculture. Instituto Dominicano de Desarrollo Integral, the Dominican parent of the Haitian Institute of Integral Development.